The Queen Victoria Market goes back to 1878. It was actually established as the third wholesale fruit and vegetable market. However, the wholesale facility moved out in 1969 and since then it's been really one of the largest food and general goods markets in Australia. Hi, I'm Judy. I'm one of the guides at the Queen Victoria Market. For me, the highlight of the market is the food, definitely, because it is so rich and varied. It's been uh, contributed to by so many different cultures of the people that have come to settle here in Melbourne. And also the fact that it's framed by this wonderful history that is so much part of our city. Our market is very clearly divided into four sections and three of those are to do with food. Now the first food section I'd like to bring you to is here in our meat hall. Our meat hall was built actually in 1869 so it's the oldest building on the site. Inside the meat hall we have 20 butchers and 10 fishmongers and three poultry shops. One of my all-time favourite places in the market. This is called the Delhi Hall. It was actually built in 1929 and it was built as the Dairy Produce Hall. In those days, most of the population of Melbourne had an English, Irish, Scottish, Welsh or Cornish background and so the food was definitely very English oriented. Of course, over the years, things have changed quite dramatically in Melbourne and now we're a centre for people who come from all sorts of different cultures from around the world and with them have come their wonderful food. So the Dairy Produce Hall is now known as the Deli Hall and behind me we have a very lovely example of what you can find. From the most wonderful sausages uh, from every corner of the world to the most beautiful cheeses and some of the most wonderful specialty products in between. There are a lot of lovely people who work at the market and the harmony here at the market is truly wonderful. And when you take people around, I also say, look, don't just look at the produce at the market, but look at the faces behind the counters and you'll see people from absolutely everywhere and the way everyone gets on, it's really very heartwarming. the open shed part of the markets. Uh, these are the historic sheds of the Queen Victoria Market and these two sheds, A and B, house the beautiful range of fresh fruit and vegetables at the market. It's another favourite of mine, especially in summer when the air is perfumed with the peaches and the apricots and all the berries. It's just lovely. We're a seasonal market and so what is grown in Australia will dominate what we can buy. The prices for the produce are absolutely amazing and as I've said so many times before, you can save so much money by shopping here and even just enjoying walking down the aisles and looking at the abundance of lovely fruit and vegetables. It's absolutely a lovely place to be. fabulous tools at the market. Uh, we run food tours every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. They start at 10 o'clock and they take two hours and on that tour you actually eat your way around the market with one of the guides who has so much to impart about the food that you're eating um, but also about the history of the market. There will be 
something there for absolutely everybody.